Hi my angels and welcome back to my channel. Today is a bit of a vlog, switching it up here and I'm actually packing for our first holiday after like a year and a half, almost two years. And we're going to Madeira, which I'm so excited about. Um, and I thought I'd do a little bit of a, like a pack with me kind of video. I feel like I get loads of comments on Instagram saying, why have you stopped your vlog? So I thought I'd do a little vlog. Um, but I'm gonna start packing. I think I'm gonna start with my makeup and skincare and toiletries, body care, that kind of stuff first. So, come and pack with me, basically. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start off with makeup right now. I've got all my stuff ready. I'll show you guys exactly what I've got, what I'm packing, and how I pack. Actually, any flight that I'm on, I always make sure that my like luggage, like I'm not going overboard with like the weight. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the little things that I do and the little things that I've got to make my life a little bit easy. So yeah, let's start packing. Okay, so here I've got my little bag. Well, it's actually quite a big bag. This is from Bag Smart from Amazon. And I've got this, I've got a toiletry version and I've also got a jewelry version, which I don't know where it is, but I need to find it because I need to pack my jewelry in that. But this is what I'm gonna take all of my skincare makeup in and even my brushes. I recently got my eyelashes done so I don't think I'm gonna wear any eyeshadow because I always pack like three eyeshadow palettes and I never wear it. So I might take like a cream shadow but we're gonna not take any palettes. Um, and I'm just gonna go through all my sections of makeup and this is how I generally pack all the time. I always open up a drawer by drawer each. This is, first of all, disclaimer, no one needs this much makeup in their life. This is purely down to the job that I do and I'm primarily I do like makeup videos. Um, so this is like not normal. Please don't think that you need to have this much makeup because it's not normal, it's not it's not needed. <laughs> but um, what I like to do is I go through sections and I pick up the things that I need. So for example, I've got primers here and I'm gonna pick just one primer because I'm always thinking about like how heavy my bags are gonna be. So I think, I'm gonna grab an all-nighter. I'm gonna, okay, this is this is literally what I do. Um, I, I fill it up, I've got two here and I feel like I've been using both of them. So, I basically tip it into one so I know I've got enough. And I think, <gasps> oh my God, spinach, hold on. This is the first time this has ever happened. But I'm just gonna tip a little bit back into this. Okay, there we go. That's a full all-nighter ready to go and then I always make sure it's really nice and tight primer check okay so primer is done and then I've got setting powders I think I'm gonna take this bye bye pause one I feel like this is really really nice it's lightweight and maybe I'll take this one as well um, this is my new Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder I feel like these two are my go-tos, so I'm just gonna not even bother trying anything new. And that is setting powders, done. And then moving on to concealer. I think I'm gonna take the NARS and a eraser eye. Maybe this one as well. They'll fit. I'll make sure that I'm not packing too much. Those are my three go-to concealers, so I feel like that should keep me covered. Um, next up I have foundations and I'm not gonna lie, I've been loving being like makeup free and I don't really wanna take any heavy foundations. So, um, I actually need to get rid of some because there's way too many in here. But I think I'm gonna go with a very lightweight one, maybe the Glow Wish. Um, I feel like I really, really, really like this and the way it looks on my skin. So that's one really light foundation and then Maybe I will take a face and body. I mean, these two are both very light. Maybe I'll take one tiny. This is what always happens. And then I have to like take stuff out, but it's okay, we'll get there. Um, I might take, what's another foundation that I've been really liking? Yeah, let's take a Synchro. We'll take a Synchro Skin. Um, this is the original one. I think I'm gonna take the Glow, um, just because I prefer like glowier vibes in the summer. And then back here I've got my lip liners and I think I'm just gonna take Pillow Talk. So one thing I always do whenever I pack pencils is I always sharpen them before I put them in because it means that I can get away with sharpening it less <laughs> when I'm away. Um, so I've sharpened this and I'm gonna pop this on this side. Um, and then I'll empty this out and I'll pack this with me as well. Um, I think that is everything on this side. Actually, do you know what? I will take a little bit of the Becca under eye brightening corrector 
in case if I do, well, I have a few spots and I feel like in case they leave a mark, I can use that to cover them up. But that's this entire drawer done. And this is my cheek drawer. So I'm gonna pick one highlighter. It's gotta be Champagne Pop. So this is my little baby Champagne Pop. And because it's small, I'm just gonna pack that because it means that it's less weight. <laughs> and then for blush, I think I'm gonna take a bite blush. I've been really, really liking this. I love everything cream at the moment, so I'm going to take this cream blush and maybe even, maybe a darling blush from NARS. Okay, and then another blush I've been loving is this one here, which is the pixie one, which has been very used. <laughs> but I'm going to take a bit of that. I feel like this is too many blushes. Do I need to take one out? Nah, I've got loads of space. I'll keep it in there. Okay, cool. Bronzer-wise, I think I'm going to keep it easy. I'm just going to take a Charlotte Tilbury one because I just can't go wrong with this. It's huge, but it's okay. And I think that is all, actually. I'm also going to take a contour just in case. And this is the Kevin Aquan contour. And do I want a cream bronzer? Why not? Let's just take a cream bronzer. I'm going to take the Charlotte Tilbury one. So this is my eye area and I'm not going to take like a lot. I'm going to take this mascara. This is the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara, which is uh, amazing and I only need mascara for my lower lashes so I'm just gonna take this guy um, I've got my brows here I think I'm gonna take the brow whiz I think I'll just take the L'Oreal plump and set one thing that I do whenever I take any kind of pencils is I roll them up and I make sure there's enough product because I went somewhere once and I didn't have any eyebrow product left and I was like thinking now what am I gonna do luckily I used some eyeshadow and made it work um, but that's that and I think yeah, I'll take a black eyeliner. This is already sharpened. This is the Charlotte Tilbury one. I think I'm just going to take one eyeshadow crayon stick. And I think I'm going to go for something neutral. I feel like Amber Haze is such a beautiful colour. And whenever I wear this, I always get loads of compliments of like, oh, what are you wearing on your eyelid? Let me show you guys a swatch, actually. So this is what it mm -hmm. looks like. It's so pretty and looks so nice on the eyes and it's really easy to put on but I am gonna sharpen it before I put it inside this is one other reason why I like to organize my makeup in like in this sense because I can always go from like one step to another now this bottom one is my eyeshadow palettes but I'm not gonna be wearing any eyeshadow um, so I'm just gonna not even think about that <laughs> next up let's move on to lips and I feel like I need to take just very minimal like thinking about it this is like the least amount of makeup that I've taken on a holiday in a very, very long time. But I just want to live a bit of a minimal, fuss-free. I don't even know whether I'm going to do my makeup when I'm out there, but I like to make sure I have enough choice of like the things that I love the most. Um, but now it's just lips left. So we'll move on to the lip section and then that's makeup done. So um, here are my lipsticks. I used to have, I used to have so many more lipsticks. I like feel like I collect lipsticks and it was too much even this is way too much but I'm only going to pick the colors and the things that I wear quite often and the things that I reach for so I think I'm going to take one of these which is the Rouge Velvet Edition from Bourjois probably one of my favorite lipstick shades ever I think I'll take a London and Abu Dhabi from the NYX soft matte lip cream that's two nudes done I think I'm going to take some glosses because I do really love a good gloss at the moment. I'm like always reaching for a gloss. So I think I'll take this, which is Reef from Maybelline. These are really, really, really good. Uh, and then let's keep it easy and take a Fussy from Fenty. I feel like I need a pop of color. So I'm gonna take Rise from Live Tinted. This is like a really beautiful orange tone. Um, and there's actually a really lovely color here which is called Grounded, that is so nice to contour with. So I think I might swap that over. Oh no, I'll just add it in there. We got space. Okay, do I need a pink? Let's pack a pink, why not? Okay, right. So recently it's been announced that Bite Beauty is launching in the UK, which is so amazing. I'm so excited. It's probably one of my favorite clean makeup brands. And I've got a bunch of lipsticks from them. So I think I might take one of these shades. I think I'm gonna take this, KN. Cayenne pepper, um, and then maybe I really, really like the shade Pomelo, which is this one. Might as well just take that. I feel like I've got space for lipsticks. I feel like lipsticks I always take 
way too many but yeah i'm gonna take pomelo because i really like the flat shade and do i want a really hot pink why not let's take menace no i'm gonna take this which is you're no good from nars i feel like that's a really nice pink and that's it i don't think i need to take a purple oh no wait hang on one second <laughs> hold please i think i am going to take a really bright orangey red so this is called fire from laura mercier really like this so that's that and that is my makeup all packed easy as that as you can see i've got loads of space in here so i might jig some stuff around and i might even be able to get my skincare in here which is like my skin prep stuff um so let's quickly do that and then i can see how much space i really have <laughs> And there we go that's all fit in um into like one area it's a little bit squished but whenever i get to um like wherever we're staying on holiday i always like set up like a proper like station where i do all my makeup um i think i'm going to shove some brushes in here um and then i'm going to pop maybe like some tweezers and stuff so um then that's all nice and filled out and i can just shove a beauty blender into one of these sides as well <laughs> majority of all of like my toiletries and my skincare and everything and I thought I'd show you guys what I've put it in so this was that toiletry bag um you can literally fit so much stuff in here so in here I've put some of my clips and like little hair ties and things which I feel like I always put my hair down on holidays and then I always end up tying it up because I get so hot but I've got a few of them in here and then in this next section I've got all of my hair styling products and we're actually staying in a villa this time and i'm taking some extra stuff just in case if there's not like enough amenities there for like the time that we're there um but these are all of my hair products that i've taken the products that i've got in here are the ones i'm loving at the moment so i've got the fable and main hair oil the jisoo hair like perfume this aveda sun spray so that's basically going to keep my hair nice and protected in the sun um i've got a bumble and bumble I believe this is a Bumble and Bumble mousse. I've got this curl definer from Living Proof. And then this is the Bumble and Bumble gel in oil humidity defrizzing kind of gel. Um, and I found that using a cream, a mousse and a gel, all three of them really help my curls stay really, really nice and defined. So those are all my hair stuff. And then in here, I've got some body stuff, um, basically all SPFs um, and a few like um, shower stuff. Um, I've got two of these SPFs from Green People. I saw this from Amazon, it's like a natural um, sunscreen which is reef safe and water repellent. And then I've got a Lannister, Lannister? Lancaster? It's one of my favourite brands for SPF. Um, it's a dry oil and then this is the Kiehl's oil to foam cleanser and then I've got dry brush as well. I don't know why I'm taking the dry brush. I really want to start dry brushing and I feel like might as well start it on holiday. And then these are some Dr. Dennis Gross exfoliating body treatments. And I've had these for a while and I was like, when am I gonna use it? And I thought, you know what? I'll have some time on holiday. So I'm gonna take them with me. And you basically fold the two flaps inside and you just zip it up. And just like that, it is all zipped up and I have so many products in here and it's really compact. And what I personally like doing is I like to split some of the heavy stuff in my suitcase and my husband's suitcase because his suitcase is usually really, really, really light. And I tend to pack like all of the toiletries, like I'm in charge of that. And that tends to get quite heavy. Um, then I've got this little bag right here. 
Um, I'll show you guys what's in this. These are all my shampoos, conditioners, things like that. I'm taking these whey shampoo and conditioners. These are the thick hair ones. I just saw these upstairs and I was like, you know what, I'll take those. And then, of course, I've got to take my blue shampoo with me. This is the Redken Brown Lights shampoo and conditioner. And that's just to make sure that my hair colour stays nice and cool toned and doesn't go red. I think I might put these in some uh, Ziploc bags because I always have this really big fear of everything just exploding. So I will do that. Um, I have so much hair that I go through shampoo like there's no tomorrow. So I am taking a Garnier solid shampoo as well. And this is super light, meaning um, it's gonna be easy on the weight when it comes to the luggage. And then I love exfoliating when I'm on holiday and that just helps my skin look and feel nice and glowy and it also helps my tan last a lot longer. So I actually saw this one in my bedroom. This is the NCLA Beauty Hay Sugar. And I was gonna take another one, but I opened this up to smell it. Oh, it smells like peach sweets smells so good so um, I'm taking that with me and then I've also got the Fenty Beauty Body Whip I think it's called no butter drop and this again smells amazing um, I've only dipped my finger into it once to try it out and it's from the first bat it looks really good so um, I'm gonna keep those in here for now that's all packed up and ready to be put in the bags and then I have this bag right here full of medicines and things like that. There are a few more medicines that I need to go and grab from um, one of the shops and I'll add them into this. And this just keeps everything in one space and if for whatever reason we need any medicine while we're away, this is the guy to go to. I usually have a really big one but I feel like we won't need a massive one um, for while we're away. And then I just redid this guy. This is all of my skincare on this side and a few SPF bits here and then all of my makeup is fit into the middle. Let me just show you some of the skincare stuff that I am taking with me. Um, I'm taking the Glow Recipe Watermelon and Niacinamide Dew Drops. I love this. It does wonders for my skin. Um, I'm really sorry if I'm not in focus here because I have no idea what's going on with my camera at the moment, but let me just come a little bit closer in case. There you go. <laughs> um, so I've got that. I've got my Ulla Henriksen eye cream. I've got my Tarcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I've got some micellar water from La roche Posay. And for my cleanser, I have the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Enzyme Cleansing Balm. I love this. It, it does wonders for my skin. Um, so yeah, that's like the gist of my makeup. Ah, and I also have my Dr. Dennis Gross peel pad. These are the Universal Daily Peel Pads. Been using them for years, absolutely love them. I always get them in bulk. Um, and then I have my deodorant. Can't forget, this is the Wild Deodorant. I absolutely love this. This is a really, really amazing, sustainable, eco-friendly, vegan, um, and I believe natural um, deodorant. All the products that I'm mentioning in this, I will leave in the description box below. And then, of course, I've got my SPF. These are my face SPFs, so I've put them like with my face stuff. This is the Glow Stick from Supergoop, which is an SPF 50. This gives such a beautiful glow to the skin. And then I've also got my Shiseido, my trusty Shiseido, which I've been using for years as well, and I absolutely love. I just need to add some brushes to the other side. And then that's ready to go upstairs into the suitcase. And then I found my little jewelry organizer thing. I love this so much. This is it right here. I can hang some necklaces off of this. I can put some bits and bobs in here. This is like a little zippy pocket. This is where I can put some rings. Um, this is where I can put some earrings. And there's also another zippy packet here. And it's also really, really thin and super compact. So I can shove that into my bags as well. Um, I feel like that's most of my toiletries done. <laughs> I thought I'd show you very quickly how I like to pack. So I make a full list on notes of all the things I need to pack. And then I'll start putting a green tick next to all the things that I've already got sorted. So in here, all my skincare's done. So I'm gonna add a green tick. And then if I remember anything during the day before I'm going, I just add it to my list. And this is the thing that I check right at the end before we like lock our suitcases up to make sure I've got every little thing in there um, but I'm slowly gonna make my way gathering everything I like to gather everything outside and then like organize everything and put it in I'll show you guys exactly how I like to organize my bag just so that I know where everything is because ever since I've been doing this a few years ago it just makes my life so much easier when I'm on holiday so I'm gonna slowly get all of this stuff upstairs and start organizing that bag with all my stuff in it this is what I've got currently going on but we're gonna sort this <laughs> so it is the next day, <laughs> my camera right now is literally 
on a step stool thing and we, we've got a lot going on. <laughs> um, basically, um, I've got all of my stuff together. So I've got my phone, I've got um, some last minute things that I'm going to do right at the end, like my travel liquids, um, my, my Apple Watch charger, like my phone charger, that kind of stuff. I've got a few like clothes that still need putting in here, but I'm going to grab them from the dryer once they're all fully dry. Um, but now, let me just show you what I've got going on. We actually bought some of these. So these are some Huel meals. And my husband drinks Huel um, like shakes every single day. They basically do this warm kind of meal. <laughs> and because we're staying in a villa and not like a hotel which will have a restaurant that we can go to for lunch or dinner, we thought we'd take some of these with us and have these as our lunch. We've got a Mexican chili flavor and a Thai green curry. So I'm gonna somehow get these in here. I'm only taking one thing as my hand luggage, which is this. I've got quite heavy things in here. Um, we've got my husband's laptop in here. We've got like printed out documents in here. Um, my books, I'm reading Breath. And then also I got this one recently, which is The Ancient Secrets of the Flower of Life. Very excited to have a little read of those. I always take stuff like this with me on holiday and I never end up reading it, but I'm gonna make a conscious effort to read. So in my hand luggage, I'm gonna add in my like liquid sachet thing, and then um, just like my bank cards, passports, I think passports and stuff is already in here. But I'm gonna move on to this and sorting this out. So let me show you how I organize my clothes because I've been doing this for a few years now and it's life changing. <laughs> I got a bunch of these packing cubes from Amazon and they come in a bunch of different sizes. So I've got this one right here. I've also got this size right here. And then also a huge size right here. So in this big one, I've got all of my evening clothes in here. So every single like evening dress thing that I possibly want to wear are all in here. So they're all together and they're all sorted. These are all my like day pool outfits and they're all in here. This one here has got all of my like underwear in here and I love that it's all together I'm not like rummaging around trying to find stuff and then I always take a spare one like an empty one to put in anything that needs washing when it comes to underwear and then I'm gonna take one more spare kind of medium one in case anything gets really really dirty and I can put it in here to go straight in the wash when I get back home so how I organize my clothes when I come back is that I put all my dirty stuff that needs to go in the wash in this so when we are back home unpacking I just know that they, these two everything in here is going to go in the wash so hopefully that makes my life a little bit easier <laughs> so I've got that um I've got my little medicine packet all ready to go you can see that everything is packed into things which is how I like it because it just means that everything has a space to live in. I've got all of my makeup on my skincare in this, which is probably the heaviest thing that's gonna go in my bag. So I'm gonna slide that in there. I've also got my Ricky Ricky mirror, which I will use to do my makeup. Um, I've got some bags, some evening bags, which I'm gonna shove in here as well. It's this kind of stuff that I feel like technically takes up the most space because it's in <laughs> dust bags. Okay, so I've got that going on. I actually can't forget my tripod, so I'm gonna put that in here as well. This is like a bit for my phone to like sit in, because I am gonna be working a little bit out there as well, so I couldn't forget this. And I don't want this to snap, so I think I'm gonna put this into my um, hand luggage. So these all need to go into a zippy bag, and this is, oh, aloe vera, I need to take that. Um, these all will need to go into a zippy bag, so, I'm gonna keep them on here. These are all like my day-ish clothes. And one of the tops that I'm gonna wear tomorrow as like my travel outfit is gonna go in here. So in here will be my two travel outfits on the way to Madeira, on the way back from Madeira, and any kind of day outfits in case we do anything. Cause I think you can do a sunrise walk, like a hike. Um, so we might go and do that. Fingers crossed, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, got some extra masks, which I can just shove in here. Got my perfume. Now, with my perfume, I tend to put it inside one of these zippy bags so that it doesn't smash. So I'm just gonna get my perfume. The perfume that I'm taking with me is My Way, and this is the intense version. It is stunning, um, but this is gonna be going in to here. 
and it's going to be my Madeira scent. So hopefully whenever I wear this again, it will remind me of this trip. I have been wearing it already because I love it so much, but uh, paracetamol I always keep with me. So we're going to put that in there. Also, please don't judge what I'm wearing. I'm literally wearing a dress with leggings. Whoa. But yeah, that's the vibe that we're going for. Um, I've got my ring cleaner in here, which I'm just going to shove there. I have my evening shoes. This is like one of those bags that opens up like this. And on this side, I'm putting everything that's like loose in a zippy compartment. And on this side, I'm putting everything that's in like structural stuff. So it just stays put. And then on this side, I can pretty much chuck stuff in there. Um, I've got my glasses. Um, I've got one set here and two sets in here. But the one set I'm going to put in to my um, luggage that I'm going to take onto the plane. Um, I've got my charger. This is a spare charger cable. I'm just going to shove it there. Um, this is a little mosquito thing. It's so good. Whenever you have a mosquito, you kind of put it on your skin and you press this and it like zaps it. It's so good. I don't know whether Madeira has any um, mosquitoes, but I always like to take extra things <laughs> and pack extra things with me. Just so that uh, we're not like rummaging around and going, oh my god, where did we put that? So and so. Um, we're taking a little speaker with us. This is our speaker that we use in our meditation room for music. And it is a little guy, but he's loud. So um, we'll be able to play some music at the pool. Um, taking my little hat, my little sun hat. I already feel like I'm on holiday when I wear a hat like this. <laughs> but um, this can go on this side. Um, I've got my hair dryer with my diffuser. I can't remember the last time I packed a hairdryer with me anywhere, but it is what it is. I'm going to shove the fuel in here as well. And these are brand new packets, so they should be fine. They're not going to explode, she says. I just really hope I have enough space. This bag is from Samsonite, and I love it. It's so nice. It's so light, meaning that you can fit, like, heavy things in here, but I really don't think it's practical. Like... I feel like I can never get enough stuff in here. Whereas my husband's bag, which is here, it's just like one of those deep, like basic ones, can fit so much in there. So I'm gonna sneak some stuff into his if it doesn't fit into mine. This is a bag that I'm taking for day stuff in case I need it. Probably won't need it, but it's gonna go in there anyways. Um, can't forget this. This is a world adapter thing, gummajigger. This is so good. Um, you can literally use this all over the world. And it's also got two slots for a USB thing. So that means that we'll be able to charge our phones, our iPads, anything electrical that needs charging. We'll be able to get that sorted. Um, I've got the last few bits to go in here. But I'll show you guys a bird's eye view of what it's looking like. And hopefully you guys have had fun packing with me. I'm going to insert a clip of exactly what my bag looks like with the bird's eye view right now. So you can see exactly how I've packed everything. Exactly how things make sense. So on the left side we've got everything into like its own compartments. And on the right side all the things that don't really fit into like a zippy bag. It's all in there but I know where everything is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this really random little video of packing with me and how I like to pack. Side note, if you do like overpacking makeup, which I genuinely, I feel like I've done so well this time, I've not taken as much makeup as I usually do, because usually my whole travel thing is filled with makeup. One thing I would highly, highly, highly recommend to save space on weight, I always put all of my powder products, anything that's not liquid, I put into my hand luggage because you'll be surprised at how much palettes weigh and like compacts weigh. And then in my main luggage, I put in all my liquids because obviously you can't fly with like too many liquids. So um, yeah, that's one way that I love to save space. And when it comes to like beauty products in total, I genuinely weigh out, there's like see which one's the heaviest and I won't pack that with me I'll take the one that's like a little bit lighter I do actually save a lot of or did used to save a lot of travel size things because um it's really good to take for like little trips like this um but yeah this is the end of my little pack with me video I hope you guys enjoyed it I will leave a list of all the products and things that I've mentioned in the description box below um but for now I am gonna go and enjoy myself in Madeira and I Really, really hope that I have a super easy, fun trip there. <laughs> and I really hope everything goes super smoothly. But in my next video, I'm going to be vlogging our trip. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But that's everything from me for now. And I will hopefully see you guys all in my next video. Bye!